I recently built a toddler's only house in Bloxburg and you guys seem to love that video. And so many of you guys were recommending me to do a kids only house. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing. So let's get in my little Jeep and start building this house. But before we do that, we need to actually change into a kid because currently we're a toddler. So I just changed from a toddler to a kid. So I actually kept the toddler's only house because I wanna build the kids only house right next to the toddler's one. As for the house itself, instead of making this out of basic shapes, I'm actually gonna go in with walls, but like it's gonna be two story and I'm only gonna make it four by four. It's also gonna have a little garage on the side. So how I'm gonna do this is by adding a cube in the middle and then making her flat, boom. Actually, you know what guys? I think we can even go smaller. I don't know why I make things so difficult for me. You know what, we're gonna go three by three. Because only a kid's house, it's not meant to be like a full mansion, which is perfect because that basic shape fits right at the back. And then if we use the transform tool and kind of lift this up, just like right in the center, that way we can have a little loft moment. So maybe we can have the bedroom on the top floor and maybe the kitchen at the bottom. Now, luckily for me, I can just add a floor instead of like basic shapes. Cause I'm pretty sure for the floor in here, I made it out of basic shapes and I don't know why I done that. Like if we go in here, like, the floor is actually basic shapes. Why did I do that? I could have just made it out of floor. And as for the theme of this house, I'm thinking of like doing a Danish pastel theme. So just like lots of pastel colors. I, Cause I don't want it to be too modern and lack too many colors because it's a kid house. It's meant to have lots of colors and be very bright and bubbly. Okay, as for the materials, maybe we can do these same horizontal planks that we used for the toddler's house. But instead of using white, maybe we can use this like cadet blue. And then to break this up, maybe we can go in with some railings. What should we make the bottom bit? Oh, stone bricks are nice. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna do bricks. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we should add a porch as well. Like a little patio at the front. Now this is where we can use basic shapes. So maybe if we uh, go in with a little basic shape. Okay, so we've got the patio. We still need a little step. So there we go. We've added a little step up. And folks, that is one good looking patio. Wait, can we use a fence? Please tell me it's big enough to add a fence. I really, really wanna add a white picket fence. Oh, it is. Thank God. We just need one like this and one like that. Oh, it is so cute. We're gonna add these small sunset windows. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to add a door in the toddler's house and everyone was screaming at me like, Alaska, why on earth is the door in the middle of the house? It's like, it's not even on the corner. I know, I'm sorry. The only reason I couldn't add a door in this toddler's house is because it was too small. Because I use an actual wall for the kid's house, hopefully I can add a door, but I want the door to be kind of small. So we can use a regular size door, but that's too big. So I have an idea and if it works, I'm a genius. So we go in with a small door frame. We make this door frame very small, like that and then if we go into fences we can add a florid fence in the middle and you're probably like alaska that's not a door how are you gonna get in well then we go in with fence gates add a florid fence gate and boom we have our own door but we have to actually see if this works okay so let's hop out of build mode and actually see okay fingers crossed open oh <gasps> it works oh my gosh i'm a genius she is the genius oh my gosh i'm so happy that worked now you know what would be cute here little potted flowers underneath these windows so we're gonna place oak shelves underneath the window and then if we go in we have structural beams and then we can outline the oak shelf and that way we can add flowers in that okay there's these wild flowers can we resize them because i feel like they're a little bit too big i was gonna change the color of the flowers but you know what i'm kind of liking the yellow i think i'm gonna keep it oh my gosh i don't know about you guys but it's currently winter in australia thank god because i have really bad hay fever and anytime i'm around flowers i will just cry i will just sneeze uncontrollably because of all the pollen okay there's our little windowsill oh my gosh this is actually looking so cute you know what i want to add out here a little mailbox i don't know what kid would be getting mail but who knows just gonna outline these windows a little bit more with structural beams i don't know if that done anything but i feel like i made it a little bit better we'll also go ahead and add a few pillars around the house and then finally we just need to add the roof oh Oh my gosh, I was gonna make this roof out of basic shapes. Kind of what I done for the toddler's house, but I realized this is made out of an actual wall. So lucky me, I don't have to do all that extra work. I can just use a roof. Okay, I'm just gonna extend the roof like this. How big should I make this roof? Should I just make it this big? That's the roof. <laughs> Oh my god, can you imagine? Like, what What does that even look like? Oh my lord. This looks like just a big gnome. Okay, we're definitely not doing that. Okay, and there we go. That is looking so cute. The roof kind of just looks like it's floating, so we might add one more pillar. And then for the lights, what if I add like a little lantern above here? Maybe some more fairy lights as well. Like, we can hang fairy lights over the roof. Okay, so the front bit's done. I also need to add windows on the inside as well. So these windows are a bit high, so I might add them at the back here, because this is going to be the kitchen, I'm pretty sure. And I think this little one block gonna be the bathroom. Okay, we can add a little window here to spy on our neighbor. You know when Bloxburg updates and it kind of messes up your previous builds? That's what it done for this one because what on earth is the roof doing over there? That was not like that before. 
Okay, and up here's gonna be my bedroom. So I want like two windows here, maybe three. The next thing I really wanna add is a little garage. We're just gonna have a little two by two garage, nothing too fancy. And then we're just gonna put pillars at the side. Measure this down because I want it to be very small and just use another basic shape for the roof. We might even put a small hedge around here and then we can add our little car. You know what? I'm not gonna steal the toddler's car because guess what? I'm actually gonna get the convertible. So sucked in toddlers. The kids get a better car than you. Wait, should we add a light under here? Actually, I'm just gonna copy this lantern. We can add like two under here so it's not completely dark. And then finally, we just need a driveway. I really want there to be a fence in front of here though. Surely there's like a little mini fence. Wait, there's a classic fence. Classic fence gate. Oh my God, perfect. Guys, look at that. We are driving around in luxury. Okay, so the outside of the house is done. So now we can work on the inside and we need like a cute like pastel carpet. I'm moving this roof out of the way because it's in my face and I can't do anything. <laughs> so we can fill this space with a simple carpet and then we can just change the texture and the material to something pastel. Wait, what if we use checkered tiles? Okay, we're gonna have a pink carpet, but the pink wall is kind of throwing me off. So I think I'm just gonna stick to white. Okay, so we've got lots of things to add in here, but very little room. I do really wanna add a fireplace because I feel like a fireplace would like look nice and cozy. So we're gonna add one in the corner. So I guess the, all the front half here can be allocated for like the living room. Okay, so at the front, we need a simplicity hook rack, but at the bottom here. So then that way the kids can reach it. And usually I use these hanging towels, but they're like way too big. So I might use this elegant towel instead because that way it kind of looks like a coat, but it's smaller. So like a kid's coat. Okay, as for the comfort, do kids even have like kid chairs in here? They've only got the bean bags. Oh, they've got these tiny tot chairs. They are so small. So we'll have a little seat at the front and then the rest over here can just be bean bags. Not one bean bag, not two, not three. Okay, that is way too many bean bags. What am I doing? Just two bean bags, okay? And we also need a few plants. Because when I was researching like Danish pastel interiors, they had a lot of plants in their house. So yeah, just a lot of greenery. And you know what? We can also fit a TV on the fireplace, just like a very small TV, which is perfect. It fits perfectly up there. Oh, we can have pastel green curtains. Ooh la la. You know what? This living room's actually looking pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. One thing that it's missing though is a table. We're just gonna use basic shapes and build our own coffee table. That way we can choose the size and how big it is. Okay, you know what we need in here? Candles. Candles and candy. That's what's in a kid house. Candles and candy. Probably not safe having candles in a kid's house, but oh well. Then maybe up here we can have a few flowers. Oh my god, wait, that is kind of everything. There's like a massive space missing in the middle. So I feel like we need two paintings up here, but like make them very schmoll. That's my new favorite word this video, schmoll. And then finally, what we need in here is more toys because I mean, it is a kid's house. So we can have some plushies near the fireplace. I really want to add this alphabet lamp somewhere. So I might add it up here, even though it's kind of blocking the TV. You know what screams Danish pastel? These new flower pillows that Bloxburg added. Okay, if we go on the babies and kids, I think I might just add a few toys on the floor because kids are very messy. My favorite thing in the kids section is this giant teddy bear. It's huge. It takes up majority of this house. So we're just gonna get the mini one. I really wanna place it on the chair. Like how cute would this teddy bear look on the chair? You know what? I'm gonna make a way, watch me. If I want this teddy bear on the chair, it will go on the chair. Boom, basic shape. On top of the chair and then hopefully this teddy bear will fit. Oh, it does. Perfect. Okay, so I think the living room's done, which means we can now work on the kitchen. As you know, Bloxburg has a pre-built kitchen for kids, which is perfect because we can just add it over here. You know what? We're gonna have a violet kitchen. We also need room for a dining table. There's this tiny tots table that we can add over here, and there's matching tiny tot chairs. But we're only gonna have room for two. What can we have on this table? There's <laughs> some newspaper. The kids are just reading newspaper these days. Wait, I have an idea. What if I make this island bench? A breakfast nook as well. Okay, so what I mean is we've got the island bench, but we also need chairs. And we can add one at the breakfast nook. We still need to add the bathroom though. So I'm just gonna make this out of a wall. Okay, so this little one block is gonna be the bathroom. So we're gonna have a very small door here. Okay, so we're just gonna do what we've done for the front. So fence here and then a fence gate. Now we can grab this roof from outside and finally make our little bedroom. So we're just gonna lift this up just so it's like above this door. We also need a way to actually get up here. <laughs> it's fine, we can just put a little ladder that goes up. But before that, I need to actually 
finish this toilet. So I'm just gonna add this little training potty in here. Wait, do kids even use a training potty? Oh, okay, I'm too old to do that. <laughs> I was gonna use a training potty for the kid. Like, girl. Okay, so just regular toilet in here. Okay, so we need toilet paper. So that kind of goes here. This is such a weird angle to build with. Okay, as for the sink, I cannot build it in here. So you know what? If the kid's gonna need to wash their hands, they're just gonna have to use the kitchen sink. Guys, this ladder is so wonky, but it kind of gives it character. That's what I might have. I might have like a wonky ladder. Okay, there we go. Looking kind of cute. Now we can work on the bedroom. We can either have a kid simplicity bed or a kid's modern bed. If we use the kid simplicity bed, it takes up majority of the room. But I mean, so does the modern kid bed. Like at least this bed has storage. So you know what? We're just gonna use this one. And because it's a Danish pastel interior, we're gonna have violet sheets. Oh my God, wait, I have an idea. What if we put a TV right here? There we go. TV at the end of the bed. Pink TV. I actually kind of like this bed because it has a bunch of storage. So maybe up here we can add a few books, maybe a little lamp. Oh, look how tiny these books can go. I had no idea. Okay, what else can go up here? Maybe a few paintings. Wait, this little heart photo. Wait, please tell me I can resize this. I can. It's still not small enough though. Maybe we can have it on the bedside table. Okay, so we're gonna do the simplicity kid nightstand because it actually matches with the bed. And that way we can have this photograph on the bedside table. Okay, what else? Oh, lava lamp. I ordered a lava lamp and it still hasn't arrived. I ordered it like months ago. I think I got scammed. <laughs> Love that for me. Okay, the bed's looking nice and cozy. You know what I can't believe? We're doing a Danish pastel aesthetic and I haven't used any LED lights this video. Okay, this is kind of like a Danish pastel mood board I've seen. So lots of greens and pinks. So we might make these LED lights pink. Oh my God, for some reason, this is giving me like 2020 blush interior aesthetics that everyone was obsessed with. <laughs> We've still got a wall here. So what I'm gonna do is put a basic opening like this. And then that way this kind of acts as a second room. So I'm thinking we can add a closet in here. Or oh, actually, you know what would look cute? Like a little reading nook. Wait, that would look so cute. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. We're gonna do a little reading nook. So copy these bean bags from downstairs. And then we can just fill this with books and posters and make it nice and cozy. I've always wanted one of these like reading nooks in my room. In my future house, if I don't have a reading nook, I am gonna be mad. Okay, you know what we all also need in here a carpet. Okay, so with that done, I think the entire kid's house is all finished. And with the kids and toddler's house combined, it comes to a total of 94,158, but that's with the toddler's house. So I don't know how much this costs alone. So let's head inside. I honestly love the way this outside turned out. And oh my gosh, guys, look at the car. We've got our own driveway. Yes, we have our own pastel pink colored car. Broom, broom. The toddler's house could never. Yeah, anyway, that's the garage. There's really not much going on. I love the fact that I was able to add a gate this time as well as a door so coming inside keep in mind the inside is danish pastel this is an interior that i've never used before so it's out of my comfort zone so um don't judge me i love these little flower pots that i made like look how cute these are also can we just appreciate the fact that i added a mini door like how cute is that so this is the inside lots and lots of colors going on which is kind of perfect it's a kid house so there needs to be bright colors for their development and this is technically the living room so instead of chairs i added bean bags and also look how beautiful these decals that I found were all I searched up was Danish pastel and there was like hundreds of them this this section as well is adorable and I like the fact that I can see my car from the window and then back here is the toilet as you can see not much going on with the toilet it's very very small so I really like this carpet that I use as well and then over here we have the kitchen the very pastel kitchen and here's the dining room with our little with our little mood board I'd like to say for someone who hates like lots of color in their box bag builds I think this is adorable like we've got bubbles <gasps> wait you can use bubbles <gasps> What? When could we use bubbles in Bloxburg? Um, okay. I love this house even more. Okay, so coming up to the second floor, we've got my bedroom. This bedroom actually turned out so cute. We've also got our own TV. Like, look how much of a vibe this is. And then over here, I was gonna make this the closet, but instead I added like a little miniature reading nook and it turned out way better than I expected. But yeah, that is the kids only house. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but that's what we like to do in this channel. We like to push out of my comfort zone and try different things. Okay, so let me know which one do you think is better the kids only house or the toddlers only house and we shall see who wins but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one bye